Okay, let's examine this basic layout and see what we have in here. We scroll over a little bit. There we go. The Papercraft Planes, this is the header. Of course, we chose that name. And right now, this is all based upon our basic template. The fav icon is what that is, right? The little icon right there. Same thing up here. That's what's called your fav icon. And later on, I'll be showing you how you can create a different one and choose your own icon for that. For editing any of these sections, just click on the edit button. All of these have the same basic layout. Here's the basic nav bar. Here's the header, little edit section down there. Your main blog post section is right down in here. And then you'll either have a list of sections on, on the right hand side or both sides depending upon the template that you use. And each one of these things is called a gadget in bloggers terminology and you can add in additional gadgets to add in additional content on your blog. For instance over here on the Dead of Night Tales right hand side this was added in as a gadget. This little ad here from Amazon was added in as a gadget. When you've been making some adjustments here you then will want to save your arrangement. You can always preview your blog at any point and you can change or you can clear what you've been doing. You can view your blog. Now preview and view are different. Preview opens up an additional window to see how it looks but you don't lose your position on this page. View blog just takes you to your blog and you lose this page that you're working on. So you have to, to back up to get back to this page. We can get back here and take a look at our standard tools over here for the blogger program. I'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll see here we have some additional gadget spaces. Now when it says add a gadget and there's nothing in here, you won't be seeing anything in here until you put something in. Just click on the add a gadget and you can then choose through a whole long list of gadgets to add in. Again, we will be looking at that just a little later on. Attribution down here, this is just the copyright information which is placed in here by the people who have made the template that you're working with. That's probably a good place to actually start. Click on edit right down there and you can put in a copyright notice if you want to. Just like that, just add in your little copyright notice, click on save, and that adds that in. It's a good idea to put that copyright notice on your page. This will be on the bottom of all of your blog pages. So that's your basic setup then. Now one more thing about these things, you can move these around. We'll be doing some of this a little later on, but you can just move these around. Notice as I, I roll over this, I get this kind of little four arrow thing. I can actually grab that and put it to a different location. So I can switch the locations around just by dragging them around. I can even put them someplace else. I could put it over here if I wanted to or put it back over in here again. So it's completely customizable. I could take this and stick it down here and have it down here across the bottom. So you can really rearrange exactly where everything is on your page just by moving these things around. And you can even do this after you've been working on your blog for a day, for a month, for a year. You can move these things around and then the whole blog will readjust to match your new layout. So it makes it very easy to update and modify and change around your blog even after you've built it. It's one of the nicest things about making a website based on blogging software is this ease of ability of being able to move things around, change things around, and shift and adjust the look and feel. So that's the basic layout of your section. And of course, this is based upon a template. Let's take a look at our templates over here. There we go. Notice that when you have a blog here on Blogger, it automatically will work on mobile devices as well, which is really nice. You actually can come in here and people can access your blog right from their mobile device. This is what's currently set up. We can scroll down a little bit and you can choose different views if you want. You can change the template. Notice now we have a much wider range of options in here. 
We chose just simple and we had just that as our only option when we first set the blog up. But now that we're in here, we can come in and have several different basic layouts in here. And that's just on that simple section. We also have picture window, which has like little image showing in behind the blog. This is the basic layout that was used over here on Dead of Night Tales. This is the, the picture window layout. And as I roll back and forth, you can see here there's a picture in behind the blog, which is showing through the blog. It's kind of a, a cool look. And there's a wide range of pictures that you can choose to stick in behind the blog as well. It's actually totally customizable. These are kind of fun ones in here. You can do a lot on these as well. Let's just take a look at our simple up here. Choose a background look that you want. Click on that little magnifying glass. You get a little larger view. And notice how it actually shows you how it will look with your particular blog post. Just close that out. Let's go over to this one. Here's our same blog with this other look. Let's come down and I'll choose one of these other ones. Picture window right here. Here is this blog with this picture window look. Come an airplane look in behind. Actually, not a, not a bad one to have for this. So I think we'll apply that one to the blog. Now we'll be doing more coming in here and formatting this thing and making this look a lot fancier a little later on again in our training as we're going through. All of these are fully customizable. Click on Customize. And once you're in your blog, there's the basic blog down below. So you can preview our blog down below here. It helps you if you put in some basic post information and see how the posts look as well. But you can come through and you can change the template you're using in here. You can change the background image if you want to. You can change the color theme over here. You can adjust the entire width of your blog in the right sidebar. Right sidebar, of course, is this stuff over here on the right hand side. You can change your layout. These are the basic positions and here's the footer position has two on ours right now. That's our basic layout in here for the blog. You can change that. I'm going to go over to this one. Then you can have no sidebars, right sidebar, right sidebar of a wide and two thins, left and right sidebars, left and right, left only. So you have a good range here of options on your where your sidebars are. And then on advanced you can come in and change anything here in advance, pretty much the page text, backgrounds, links, blog title, tabs, text, backgrounds, and so forth. A lot that can be done. Once you've made those changes, just choose Apply to Blog. Of course, we'll come back and we'll be doing a lot more on this customization a little later on in our training. But there's the basic setups. You want to take a look first at your layout, see where everything is sitting, make sure it all looks good the way you want it, and then take a look at your template and make sure you're using the template that you want to use and just take a look through and look at the different template options and see which one you want to start off with. And again, totally customizable and we'll be doing a lot more with that a little later on. Before we get too deeply into that though, let's move on to the next video and take a look at how to set up your first post.